Hey guys, it's Lori. I am just finishing up a job and I'm gonna head to Walmart to pick up a Walmart grocery order. So, we have a Walmart grocery haul. It is, right now it's 10.38 a.m. And my pickup window is 11 to 12. I wanted to make sure I was done with my job and able to like check in and get there before my window was closed, even though they still hang on to it for a while, like a long while. <laughs> I usually have my notification by now that my order is ready for pickup, but I don't have it yet. And that's fine. I don't expect to, but well, actually I kind of did expect to, but <laughs> anyways, yeah. So I should be getting that any second. Hopefully I'll get it before I get there. So <laughs> so that I can check in at some point, like at a stop sign or something. I don't know. And I have to say thank you. Oh, I'm going to get yelled at. I better get my seatbelt on. There we go. <laughs> I want to say thank you to whoever it was that used my link in the description box below. Somebody used my link. It's there all the time if you're interested in using it. Somebody used my link for their Walmart pickup order. That not only got them $10 off of their first order, but it also got me $10 off of this order. So thank you so much. I know somebody did it, but I don't know who. It doesn't tell me who, so let me know down in the comments if it was you. Just say, it was me, it was me. <laughs> so that I can thank you personally. Otherwise, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, so I will get back with you when I get to Walmart. Okay, so I was able to check in at the stoplight right up the road. So I literally like just checked in like a minute and a half ago. But I am the only car here. So they should be out any second. And yeah, I have uh, something else I could show you. Oh no, here they come. I'll show you when I'm done. When they're done. Yeah. That was like the quickest Walmart pickup ever. <laughs> it's... 10:56 a.m. right now so I'm just moving out of the pickup spot to show you guys what I got and we'll just sit right here okay so I got these new Crocs and uh, I have Crocs already that I wear for um, work shoes like inside people's houses and I'd really like to have a pair that I can just wear around because the ones that I wear inside people's houses I don't I don't wear outside I just keep them for inside I have worn them outside before, but then I do wash them in like dish soap and rinse them off good. But anyway, I got these new ones and the ones I have now are like, well, I have them on. Let me show you. They're like gray, I guess. Yeah. I almost want to say they're sort of dark bluish, but they are gray. So these, I thought, wow, those are so close to the same color. I thought they were brown, but now... I, I brought them. I wanted to look at them outside in the daylight, and they are brown. So it's just Crocs. I mean, and they're brand name Crocs. Um, I have some like knockoffs, and I've had plenty of different pairs of knockoffs throughout the years. Getting a phone call. Okay, that was Chase. I wanted to answer that. Anyway, um, what I was saying about the Crocs, the ones I'm wearing are actually um, brand name Crocs as well. The knockoff ones compared to the real Crocs, man, the real ones are so much nicer. <laughs> they really, really are. And they like last a lot longer too. I wonder if the bottoms are the same. I feel like, I feel like these bottoms are different. Let me check. Yeah, they're different. I've been wearing these outside, you can tell. So they're a little bit, are they? Maybe these are just worn down. They're the same. I lied. They're the same. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> anyways, these are going to be my new house shoes for inside the house. All right. So let's get into the Walmart haul. I got some heavy whipping cream. Should have got some half and half because I used my half and half this morning and I think it's spoiled or something because it doesn't, it didn't curdle or anything. Usually if it's spoiled, it'll curdle and it didn't but it tasted bad. Like my coffee tasted like spoiled milk. <laughs> I couldn't drink it. I had to go dump it. And on the way to the sink, I was like trying not to gag. So anyway, 
there you go. There's that, whether you wanted to know or not. IBC cream soda. And you guys probably know this is for Hayden. Loves that stuff. And I also picked up some of this lean ground beef. This is the big four and a half pound package. And I will definitely be dividing this up into portions. This is the, what is it? Let me see, 93% lean and 7% fat. The reason I got the lean was because I don't know if I'm going to join him or not, but John is definitely going to be doing a round of HCG, and that is a very lean diet that you eat. So there's that for the HCG round. Whether I join him or not, I'm, I still wanted to go ahead and buy it for him. And this was the reason that this was the item that prompted me to start this order in the first place. John was out of his black silk coffee. So he does love his black silk for his coffee pot for his morning coffee. So there's that. And I do have my insulated bag right here too, by the way, for the meat, because I have another job to go to after this. The meat, heavy cream, yeah. And here is some apples, three pound bag of Granny Smith apples for John. And I went ahead and picked up a small bottle of Tide. I have the big bottle from um, Costco. I almost said Walmart. But I have the big bottle from Costco. And it's such a pain to use that because I don't like putting it in the lid of that thing because then it, it runs down the, the jug. And I it's got one of those push button things. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a good place to put it. And just, no. I'm just going to use this as a refill bottle. That's all I'm trying to say. My favorite clear coat nail polish right here. The Sally Hansen Hard as Nails, and it's just a hardener. The bottle's kind of turned around in there, but it says it's a strength treatment, and it just says it's a hardener, but it is my favorite clear nail polish, and my nails have been peeling so bad, and hopefully now that it's not so cold outside, they'll stop doing it, but I've been keeping them cut really short and trying to keep the stuff on them. Hopefully it's gonna help soon because it's helping a little bit, but yeah. Okay, and I also picked up some of these Cadbury cream eggs. I hate these things, hate them. This is a five pack. <laughs> My oldest son loves these disgusting things. Now he tells me, uh, you like peeps, so you can't judge me. Okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> but this is gonna be in with his birthday present, which I say in with, honestly, I'm probably just gonna give him money and a card or something in this. So I think that's all I'm probably gonna give him. It's not like something's rattling in there. There is, what's in there? Well, I don't wanna open it or I'll have to pop it open. I don't know what's in there, but something's rattling around. Okay, so. Let me get these out of the bag because this, the little bag that they're in is ripped. But see, it's got a giant tear in it. But it's Poblanos and oh, I'm so happy. Sometimes they give you little tiny gross looking shriveled up ones. <laughs> not, they're not quite that bad. I might exaggerate a little bit when I say that. But these are nice big poblanos. Yes. So, so I am super happy with this choice. And I'm going to be cutting those up and putting them in the freezer. I might, I don't know, maybe I'll just cut one of them because they're so big. They would be nice for stuffed poblanos. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> now I'm going to have to think about it. Okay. I also grabbed a cucumber. The reason I grabbed a cucumber is because I watched Marnie, um, Keto Marnie, the Keto Crochet, and she sliced up cucumber because she said if you put sweetener on a cucumber, I don't remember whose video she saw it on, but she tried it and she's like, huh, it's true. <laughs> if you put sweetener on this, it's supposed to taste like watermelon. I gotta try it. So, you know, I'll have to let you guys know how that works. Um, I think that's everything. So yeah, that's it. That's all I got from Walmart. So I'm going to get this stuff straight into my insulated bag. It's 59 degrees right now, but you know, I don't want it getting too warm. So I'm going to go ahead and put this cold stuff in the bag and head to my next job. And I will see you in the next video.